Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on changing the subject of a formula involving fractions. So we want to make x the subject of each of these equations and remember to make x the subject of an equation means to get x on its own on one side of the equation. So it should be x equals and then some expression. Or you could have the x on the right hand side, it doesn't really matter as long as x is on its own. And remember our general strategy was to undo the last thing done to the subject. So we think about the story of what's happened to x and then we undo that chronologically. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So let's think about what's happening to x. x has been divided by 4, that's what over 4 means, and then we added c to it. So we, what was the last thing we did? Well the last thing we did was add the c. So we undo that last thing by doing the opposite. What's the opposite of adding c? We subtract c from both sides of the equation. So if we subtract c from the right hand side and the left hand side, remembering whatever you do to the left hand side of the equation, you have to do the same to the right hand side of the equation. So 3b minus a c gives us 3b minus c. They're not like terms, so we can't combine those together to make one big term. And then subtracting the c from the right hand side just gets rid of that plus c. So we're just left with x over 4. Now let's apply the same thing, undo the last thing done to the subject. Well, x was divided by 4, and then that was it. So we want to undo the over 4. The opposite of divide by 4 is times by 4. So we multiply both sides of the equation by 4. So if we times this by 4, we get 4 brackets 3b minus c. So notice I've times the whole thing by 4. You could just times each individual term by 4 and do it all in one go if you like. And then when we times this by 4, it just gets rid of the over 4, leaving x. A common error that students make is that they times by 4 to get rid of the over 4, but they times by 4 again and think the answer is 4x. But that would be times it by 4 twice. You only want to times by 4 once, which just gets rid of that over 4, and we're just left with the x. Now, that's the answer. We could leave it like that, or if you prefer, we could expand it. Remember to expand a bracket, you do the thing on the front multiplied by each of the things inside the bracket. So 4 times 3b is 12b. And 4 times negative c, well, positive times negative is negative, and 4 times c is 4c. So that would be the final answer. We've got x on its own on one side of the equation. It doesn't matter it's on the right hand side. Um, we could write x equals 12b minus 4c, but it's not necessary. What about the second one? Let's think about the story of what's happening to x, and then we're going to undo the last thing done to that x, the subject in this case. So, x was multiplied by 2, then we subtracted 4, and then we divided that by b. The last thing we did to x was to divide by b. So we have to undo that by multiplying both sides of the equation by b. Um, so, times on the left-hand side by b gets rid of the over b, giving you 2x minus 4. And then we're going to times the right-hand side by b. Now, it'd be wrong to write bc plus 1 like this, because that would be only multiplying the c by b, not the 1 by b. So you could write bc plus b by timesing each of the things by b. Or if you don't want to do it in one step, we could use brackets. So all of the c plus 1, that whole thing, is being multiplied by b. So b brackets c plus 1. Don't use a time symbol, by the way. We don't like to use a time symbol in algebra. We should be using brackets. Just like we don't like to use a divide symbol, we use fractions to represent divisions. So now we could expand the bracket if we wanted. So you do the b times the c, which is bc, and the b times the 1, which is plus b, as I said earlier. And then a few more steps. Well, what's happening to x? Well, it's been multiplied by 2, then we're subtracting 4. The last thing we did to x was to subtract 4, so we add 4 to both sides of the equation. That gets rid of the minus 4 here, leaving just 2x. And then if we add 4 to the right-hand side, that's just bc plus b plus the 4. None of those terms collect. They're not like terms. They involve different variables or no variable at all. And then finally, x has been multiplied by 2, so we need to undo that times by 2 by doing the opposite, dividing by 2. So 2x divided by 2 gets rid of the 2, leaving x. And remember, to do a division by 2, we put the whole thing over 2. So this over 2, and that is the final answer.